Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and today we're going to be doing just that. We're going to be talking about the Blu-rays that I picked up for the month of June, and I picked up a lot, and a lot of it's really random, um, and some of them have been from sales. So, for instance, Prime Day just happened. Those were the, the things that arrived the fastest, right? So I'll be talking about the Prime Day uh, deals that I picked. Uh, I definitely looked at and got some, some deals from there. Um, but uh, there's other sales going on right now too. There's a Kino Lorber sale that's going on. I know Severin just had a sale. Criterion's about to have a sale. And there's other sales that I'm probably forgetting about. Um, <laughs> but it's just honestly a little overwhelming on the pocketbook. But uh, I hope you're able to uh, jump into some of those sales and get some of those titles. But um, you know, I'm not gonna be talking about those particular titles today. Uh, except for the Prime Day ones, but um, I will show you um, some of the titles that I picked up for the month of June. A lot of them I have not seen yet, but I'm very interested in, and I definitely will have a phase that I'll talk about them on the channel when I will get to them, right? I have a lot of titles that I'm just getting through. So like, for instance, like right now, I'm just finishing up a Director's Challenge that I've been uh, doing. I've watched 10 films, 10 unwatched films from a director that I was curious about, and I picked Sydney Lumet, and I actually watched 11. So that'll probably be my next um, video that's gonna be coming out, is gonna be a Sydney Lumet film uh, kind of discussion of the films that I watched just now for my director's challenge. I hope that you are, if you're able to join on that, uh, if you're uh, watching films from a director you haven't seen before, it's a really fun challenge, and it was really good to watch, uh, you know, just dive into this filmography. And I'm really excited to share more, share more on that. Uh, speaking of other videos coming up in the future, uh, I also have my, my 100 Years of Movies series for the 1950s. Now there was a scheduling conflict, so I'm gonna be doing that solo, uh, but it'll be coming out uh, more or less either at the end of the month, uh, before July or like early July. So I'll be share, showcasing that with you, uh, and I'll, I'm excited to talk about 1950s films with you. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm talking to my, to my camera, but uh, I'm talking to you and the audience, and I'm excited to hear what your thoughts on 1950s films are and one of your, some of your favorites. Uh, and the other thing I want to mention that's coming up really, really quickly, it is coming up this Sunday, actually. I'm going to be doing a live stream uh, with Movie Chatter on the 27th. Um, I don't remember the exact time, but I'll be linking her channel down in the description down below. Um, Steph is a really good, great friend, and we're going to be talking about Criterion, because there's actually a Criterion sale coming very, very soon, and so, of course, we're going to talk about some of those, those uh, titles that we'd recommend uh, picking up. So, without further ado, let's jump into the titles that I picked up for the month of June, starting with Severin. All right, starting off with a box set that I pre-ordered. Um, honestly, I, I was excited about this mainly because of the star that it is uh, focused on, Christopher Lee. And I wanted to pick this up right here, the Eurocrypt of Christopher Lee right here with five films and also a TV series that Christopher Lee starred in uh, or like hosted. Sherlock Holmes and the Deadly Necklace, Challenge the Devil, Crypt of the Vampire, Castle of the Living Dead, The Torture Chamber of Dr. Sadism, and then Theater Macabre is the, uh, the show that he was involved with. And so this is a really cool box set. Um, I haven't dived into this yet. Uh, just because I've been really um, b busy doing other things like watching Sidney Lumet films, right? Uh, but also, um, I I've really been watching a lot of Hammer films, and uh, I've also been picking up Amicus films. We'll I'll show you more of those when we get to them. Um, but uh, I was definitely curious about it because I love Christopher Lee. Even though uh, my friend uh, at Master Chaos TV, he has definitely um, told me, uh, based on his videos, really, that this is not the greatest set in the world. Um, and there's also some pretty mixed reviews from some people. But at the end of the day, I pre-ordered it, um, and I'm going to watch them and kind of judge them myself and see what I think of them. But um, I'm still excited about it, um, regardless of some of the people being like, it's kind of just eh. Um, but anyway, I, I'm excited because of Christopher Lee, more or less. But uh, it's a really cool box set, at least. Um, and it um, definitely is presented very, very well uh, with a... Uh, film essay booklet uh, and the and the films themselves. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to dive into this box set, even though they're going to be all very schlocky and not not so great. Um, but anyway, has did anyone else pick this box set up? I'm definitely curious. Let me know in the comment section down below if you pick this up. All right, so we're going to move on now to Second Sight Films. Uh, this is a UK-based label, so all the films that I'm going to be talking about are only Region B, so if you have a Region Free player, you can play them, or if you're in the region, you can also play them there. Um, but I wanted to pick up these titles. I actually only have In Bruges from Second Sight Films, and that's kind of crazy because I'm like, there's a lot of titles from their their you know uh, their filmography and uh, what their you know their products 
that I really am interested in. And it's kind of crazy uh, up until this point that I was finally, I just finally deep dived and bought a few titles. And I'm very excited to showcase those with you. Um, kind of going along with the Christopher Lee, we're talking about Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, both in the House That Dripped Blood from 1971, and then also a Peter Cushing film, Asylum from 1972. I'm very excited about these films. I believe they're both amicus films. Um, let's see. One, this one's directed by Roy Ward Baker, and this one is directed by Peter Duffel. Um, but I'm just very, very excited um, to watch uh, these horror films, these gothic horror films, right? Um, and really just dive deeper into them. I'm still getting into my Hammer films. Don't worry, I haven't paused those. I, I, I haven't stopped those. I just paused it, right? Um, because I've been watching Sidney Lumet films. Um, but I'm excited to jump into these as well. Um, and I'm curious if any of you have seen these films uh, or interested in them. Uh, I definitely want to know down in the comment section down below. All right, so going a little bit back in time, not too much, uh, 1979 uh, from the two titles that we just talked about. But I'm also really excited about this horror film uh, directed by uh, Peter Medic. Uh, and this is The Changeling. I'm very, very excited about this one. I've heard nothing but good things about it from a lot of my friends. Daniel uh, Cobwebs, he's seen it, and he's, he really, really, really enjoys it. Um, but I'm very excited about this one, um, and I'm sure many people have seen it before. But anyway, uh, other things that I bought, uh, those were all standard editions. Uh, they have a lot of limited edition stuff, the boxes, like I have for my Embruge. Um, and the limited editions actually sell out very, very fast. Um, so I did get a few limited edition titles. Um, one is a film that came out not too long ago, actually from 2018. I actually missed it because I was in China, so I didn't see it in theaters, but I have some friends who've seen it and they really enjoyed it. Talking about The Nightingale. And The Nightingale actually came with a poster poster card, and I'm, I'm happy to have that with it as well. But I'm very, very excited about this film. Um, it's a revenge tale, and I've heard it's very psychological and very dark. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm definitely excited about that one. And then the last film that I picked up is an Iranian film from 2016. And I actually have seen this film. I believe it's on Netflix, too. Um, but I really wanted to get this movie. I've had the, the DVD on my Amazon wish list for the longest time because I just I, I heard about it once and I like really wanted to watch it. Um, but I finally watched it on Netflix not that long ago, uh, maybe a year ago. But I finally watched it. And I'm talking about Under the Shadow. This is an incredible, incredible uh, ghost film. It's a gem demon film you know what i mean um but anyway if you haven't seen this definitely do yourself a favor it's really really good um it's incredible uh and uh, yeah if you haven't seen under the shadow i highly recommend it go check it out uh streaming somewhere uh, if you can um but yeah it's it's certainly worth your time it's a scary movie um, so those are the films that i picked up from second sight films um i'm really excited to dive deeper into uh, their catalog and look at more of their titles do you have any other films i'm curious let me know in the comment section down below all right so the next two films that i have right here um, are films that are kind of like b movies but like notorious b movies and i really just kind of got this from film twitter um, film twitter who's really um, on scott adkins uh, and I really wanted to dive a little deeper into this i know my friends uh, daniel epler and chris Hurtado and uh, Lindsay and Matt and and all, and everyone just really is talking a lot about them. Uh, these are all people on Twitter. They have their own uh, film podcasts. I'll probably link their podcasts down in the description down below. Seriously, I don't think I've talked much about uh, film podcasts before, but I have a, I have a lot of uh, good friends on Twitter that have uh, film podcasts, and they are all like hosts, and they you know talk about various different things. Um, obviously, like you know Brian, just the discs. Uh, he's got an excellent podcast, and there's it's just there's a plethora of them. There's a way, honestly, too many, but um, for any one person to kind of just digest. But at the same time, they're all incredible, and I want to share them with you. So I'm going to link those in the description down below. But they're talking about Scott Atkins a lot, so I wanted to get Ninja and Ninja Two, right? Um, so uh, Shadow of a Tear, um, but. I, uh, I don't know much about these, but I've heard they're incredible action films, and I'm really excited about them. So that's all I'm going to say about them. I'm definitely going to have a good time with them. Uh, I might watch them very, very soon. I, I feel, have a feeling that a, a crazy night is going to be needed soon. Um, all right, the next film that I picked up is a Eureka uh, Masters of Cinema film. I actually believe I got it from Amazon. Um, yeah, I think I did, because uh, I sold it there. Um, but this is Spy Number 45, and I've been really needing to get this film and really wanting to watch this movie. One, it's a Billy Wilder film. So I, I love Billy Wilder and I, it's kind of criminal that I haven't, haven't seen this yet. Um, but I'm very, very excited, uh, for this film, uh, starring Ray Milland. And I am sorry, Chris, that I finally just picked it up. I'm talking about the lost weekend. 
Uh, I, like I said, this film is from 1945, so right at the end of World War II. Um, this is a film that um, I actually uh, heard Chris Hurtado talk about first, um, and he just, you know, like fell in love with it as a kid and uh, really has like really strong emotions to it. And that's one of my best friends. So um, I, I definitely wanted to give this uh, movie a shot. And um, yeah, I've heard it's just incredible. And like I said, it's Billy Wilder, right? So of course I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but has anyone seen The Lost Weekend? I'm definitely curious in the, in the comment section down below. All right, the next film is a documentary uh, from PBS, actually. Um, the reason I picked this one up is actually from Raquel, Raquel Stetcher from Out of the Past. She has her own YouTube channel and blog. Um, and she's also a good friend on Twitter as well. Um, it's also been on the channel several times as well, doing uh, various things that we've talked about with books um, and uh, talking about 1930s films. We've had a really good time uh, talking about those different types of films. But <clears throat> she did a collection video, and I saw this uh, in her collection, and I was like, I kind of want that, and I saw that it was on sale, or at least really relatively really cheap on Amazon, and I actually picked up these amazing shadows right here, which is a uh, movie documentary, The Movies That Made America. Uh, other than that, I don't really know terribly too much about it. It's just a documentary about movies in America, so I'm excited about it. Um, <laughs> has anyone seen this documentary? That's all i got to say about that. <laughs> um, but the next film that I picked up is a sequel to a uh, series that I've, I, well, I guess it's a series now, but I really loved the first film, uh, and I'm talking about Train to Busan, and I actually picked up the second one, which came out, I guess, early, la earlier this year, or late last year, but I'm talking about Peninsula, right here. Um, I actually haven't heard much about this film, I've heard it's pretty solid. Um, honestly, I, I keep choking up because I just had a smoothie, and the peppers are getting in my throat. Yeah, there was some ginger in there. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, peppers. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited about Peninsula. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just excited for some some crazy zombie action. And from a really solid film like Train, Train to Busan, uh, I definitely want to watch uh, the sequel to this movie. Uh, so I picked it up, and uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, next is a film that I actually picked up because of my friend Steph, Movie Chatter. Um, I realized that this was selling out very fast. And uh, besides that, my friend... Uh, Justin, uh, Ryan 1988, also talked about it, and I was like, okay, I need more Paramount Presents pictures anyway. So this is Spy Number 17, it's Mommy Dearest, right here. Uh, the Faye Dunaway film uh, on Joan Crawford. Um, I am excited about this. I'm sure it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. It's probably going to be really crazy too, um, but uh, I'm excited about that one. All right, next is actually a film that is out of print. Um, and so I spent a little bit of money on it, not terribly too much. Uh, I found a, a good price for it, um, so don't worry, I didn't spend too much on it. Um, but I was also really happy that I found it, um, because I really wanted to get this movie after just watching Taste of Cherry. So it's an Abbas Kurastami film, um, and I, this is one of his uh, late 90s films, it's from 1999. Uh, this is actually from, on, on Cohen Media, right here, and I'm talking about The Wind Will Carry Us. Um, so besides just knowing that it's an Abbas Kurastami film, I haven't really watched it yet. Um, but as a fan of Close Up and Taste of Cherry and the Cobra Trilogy, and I also have some of his later work that I haven't seen yet, uh, I, I know I like his filmmaking and I, I love the way he handles hu humanity. Um, and so I'm very, very excited about this movie. Very excited to watch it. Um, so if you ever do get your chance to find this movie um, for on Blu-ray, do yourself a favor and like pick it up, but like don't spend too much money on it, right? Uh, like I said. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that film. Uh, and then next is another film um, that came out a few years ago, and I definitely was I meant to watch this movie, but like just I I think I was just coming back from China, and like I, I had a hard time trying to figure out um, what movies to watch really, and this one just kind of escaped me. This is a Pedro uh, Almodovar. Uh, film and it's actually based on on eight and a half a little bit so I'm sure some, a lot of you have probably seen this film but I finally picked up Pain and Glory and Pain and Glory is a Sony Pictures classic film and I, I love that label and honestly never go away <laughs> never never go away please um, but I really really love um, the the works that they put out um, and this is uh, I've heard incredible work with Antonio Banderas um, who is playing a, a director who's kind of losing his his way and I'm very, very excited. But it has a crazy cast. Um, it has Penelope Cruz, of course, in it. Um, 
is in collaboration with, um, and I'm going to butcher all of those names, so I'm not going to say them right here, but uh, I'm very, very excited about painting Lori, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, so I'm definitely interested. If you've seen it before, let me know how it is down in the comment section down below. I've heard excellent things. All right, so the last titles that I picked up are all from Prime Day. So there was actually a Prime Day sale. Um, There's a really uh, great deals on like box sets um, and on some uh, shout selects that I really, really wanted. Uh, I didn't really get any 4Ks or anything like that, but I, I certainly wanted a few things. So I'll, sh I'll start off with the box set. Um, this is actually an update. Um, I didn't know there was a Blu-ray version of this. I guess it must have come out not too long ago. Um, but I'm very excited to have Monty Python, uh, The Flying Circus, uh, complete series on Blu-ray. I love this show and I love I love Monty Python. So like, how much? What, what else can I say uh, about this this show? This is a brilliant show. It's really silly, very British, very outrageous. Um, but yes, I'm very excited that I have this. This was um, fifty dollars um, on Prime Day. So, uh, that, which is a good deal because I think it's, it's normally like around $80 or something like that. So I like that. And then I got three Shout Select films because the uh, Shout Select um, had a sale on Amazon Prime. And so I picked up a few titles here. I got Spine Number 2, which is Elvis. It's a John Carpenter film with Kurt Russell. Um, I've had this on my list for like the longest time. I just never pulled the trigger and this was cheap. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. I'll finally get it. It's a John Carpenter film too. So I'm, I'm definitely interested in that. Um, so yeah, Elvis, I got that one. And then the other film that I picked up was Spine Number 58. Um, this one is from 1976. It's a whodunit, and I've been watching some whodunits. We'll get to that with uh, Sidney Lumet later. Uh, but I picked up Murder by Death, and I'm very, very excited about this movie as well. Um, I, I love murder mystery uh, films, and so I'm starting to get more, in, more into those, and so I picked this one up. And then the last film that I picked up um, this is from 1992, um, and this is Spine Number 106, and it's starring Ethan Hawke. And I, I, I love Ethan Hawke. Uh, and I'll talk about him a little bit later with Lumet as well. Um, but I picked up A Midnight Clear. Uh, and this is a Keith Gordon film. It's a World War II film. Kind of near the end of <clears throat> the occupation uh, of the Allied troops in, in Germany. Kind of near the end of the war. Uh, it's a story about that. Uh, so I'm excited about that as well. Uh, so yes, those are all the titles that I picked up for the month of June. What about you? Did you pick up any titles for this month? I'm definitely curious to know in the comment section down below. I'm excited to jump into some other ventures, and there's a lot of things coming up, uh, a lot of exciting things uh, to shoot on video, a lot of good things to interact with all of you. I'm very, very happy to have all of you in my life, and I want to say thank you for watching this. Uh, comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.